let's solve a little more involved system. We have x squared plus y squared equals 25, and you'll recognize this as being a circle with a radius 5 centered at the origin. We also have the equation x plus y equals 1, and this is a line. So let's think about this. What possibilities could happen with a circle and a line? Well, we'll find that out here. A good way to solve this is by substitution. Let's solve for x in the second equation. Do that by subtracting y from both sides. And from this, we get x is equal to 1 minus y. Now what we'll do is we'll take this expression, 1 minus y, and substitute that in for x into the first equation. So if you look at our first equation here, it looks something like the following. x quantity squared plus y squared is equal to 25. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this 1 minus y and drop that in over here. So we get 1 minus y, the quantity squared. And we have the desired result in that we have our equation in terms of y and y only. So let's foil this thing out. We have 1 minus 2y plus y squared plus the existing y squared. That equals 25. We have a nice quadratic equation. Let's write that equation in standard form. We have 2y squared minus 2y minus 24 equaling 0. Remember, standard form is setting the whole left-hand side equal to 0. Now note that we have a common factor of 2 throughout, so I'm just going to go ahead and divide the left and the right-hand side by 2 to make our quadratic equation a little bit nicer. We have y squared minus y minus 12 equaling 0. Factor that out, y minus 4 and y plus 3 equaling 0. And we've seen a lot of examples of this. And from this, we have our two solutions, y is equal to 4 or y is equal to a negative 3. Now, at this point, you might think you're done, but remember, we're looking for the ordered pairs where a circle and a line would intersect. So let's go back to y equals 4. We have to find the x-coordinate that's associated with that. And I would plug this into our linear equation. So from this, we get x plus 4 equals 1 and obtain x equals a negative 3. Good idea to write this as an ordered pair, negative 3 comma 4. We need to do the same thing when y is equal to a negative 3. Plug that back. And if you wanted to get fancy here, you could plug it back into the circle equation. Let's just go ahead and plug it back into the linear equation. That's a little bit nicer. And when we add 3 to both sides, we're going to end up with x is equal to 4. And writing this as an ordered pair, we have 4, negative 3. And these are the two ordered pairs at which a circle and a line will intersect.